Jay Bills from Media Spotlight UK, reunited. I think it's been a very long time, because I've seen you in the music scene for many years. I'm with the one and only Big Tobes in the building, making this Misfits debut. How are you feeling, sir? Yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm, I feel grateful, man. It's such a big platform, a platform that not everyone gets the chance to go on, so I'm just bare grateful right now, man. I mean, you're no stranger to boxing. I mean, yeah. you know, the last time I saw you was at Misfits 5. Um, this was back in Telford. I think it was the open workout. You yeah. was there. You was. Yeah. I remember yeah. that you were sitting yeah. next to Ashley Rashu yeah. at the yeah. time, yeah. 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 which ironically was your first opponent. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, take me back to that time. Obviously, you know, you stepped in the ring for the first time with Ashley Raksu. Yeah. Obviously, you're now here, you know, under the tutelage of uh, Luke Groves. Yeah. Uh, talk to me about your journey, your boxing journey to get here. Yeah, so when I fought Ashley Raksu, big up bounce are wicked and bad. That was my first time actually stepping in the ring, training, boxing, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I was new to it. And I thought, you know what, yeah, I want the challenge, I like it. I heard Ashley had um, a fight previously and had like two years experience, but I was like, you know what, let's do it, man. So for me, it was like a learning curve. Um, and since then, I just love the sport, I've loved the training. It helps me mentally, keeps me disciplined, keeps me fit. And yeah, now I'm on the Misfits platform. And for me, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just a new, exciting journey for me that I'm just enjoying the process and just taking how it comes, you know what I mean? I mean, obviously, this is like, you know, your first big sort of press conference. I know you've done press conference before, but not this like is, this. A, but on a bigger yeah, scale, yeah, like um, you know, how do you feel now that are you settling into, you know, the vibes? And obviously, it got a bit heated up stage between yeah, you and yeah, Kels. Yeah, yeah. You know, to be fair, I'm usually a calm guy, but sometimes you get um, caught up in the heat of the moment. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm usually calm and, and collected and composed, innit? But heat of the moment, Kels has been chatting a lot of rubbish this whole week, innit? And I have to just let him know because he's been trying to do like the whole kind of, bully bad boy things I've been laughing with him and I had to let him know that bro like don't get it twisted I'm calm but it's not I'm not that kind of guy do you know what I'm trying to say so I had to just let him know in the press conference quickly do you know what I mean I, I saw like the uh, video that went around where you know Kells was trying to get you at Na Nando's yeah, I mean talk yeah, to me yeah, what, what happened there so obviously I know Kells in it Kells has my number I know Kells in it so he's coming to Nando's and we just laughed and like yeah what's going on whatever then after he's come round I'm not thinking nothing I'm on my phone and he's taking a piece of broccoli and he tried to do, and I'm not, for me, I'm just seeing it as a joke, innit? I'm not really taking it serious. When I looked at the video back, I'm like, no, that's actually quite disrespectful. You've gone for my food, innit? But I get it. He's trying to, like, build content for the fight. I know he's not like that. I know he's not like a bully. He's not like that. So for me, at the time, I was like, you're being silly, but it's good content, whatever. But then I thought, you know what? At the end of the day, you can't put your hand on my plate. That's like, I hope you know, like, are you, are you joking? Or do you feel like you can actually disrespect me? Do you know what I'm trying to say? And that was my kind of thing. Like, do you actually know that? It's not that, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, that was it, man. But it's not anti personal. Like, I don't, I'm not hurt by it. Like, it's not, it's not crazy. I just have to let him know. Well, talk to me about how it's been like training under Luke Groves. Um, yeah. It's been a while since uh, I've seen the footage go around about, you know, you train with him. Um, yeah. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so um, I usually train um, with my guy Eddie, big up Eddie Shadow Boxing. But um, when um, I got this fight, because Luke helped me get this fight, I've been training with him. So that's like for the past month or two. I've been training with Luke. Um, yeah, it's been good, man. I've been, um, Losing old habits, um, learning new things, staying fit, prepping for this fight. Obviously, Kels is a tall guy, he's a big guy, so we kind of gonna had a game plan on how to beat him. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, it's been good. As I said, I'm still learning. I'm still getting better every day. And yeah, man, it's been great to be honest, bro. Um, a few final things for me. Um, obviously, there's been a few music artists that are coming to the fray. Obviously, yourself, yeah. uh, Ashley Raksu, Swarms, Mist yeah. are coming to the fray. Um, if you were to fantasy book, not looking past Kels, but if you were to fantasy book like the ultimate like rap boxing fight, like say it was yourself and someone else, ideally, who would you like to fight in this space as far as like rapper versus rapper? Damn, it's hard, man. Because you know what, it's a lot of rappers don't fight. Don't like fights, I can't even think of someone. Um, and there's no rappers that I don't like either. So it's hard to even say, man, but let me think. Do you know what, shout out RM. RM from Birmingham, he's been trying to fight. He's been trying to get on Misfits. Okay. He ain't really had the opportunity, so I'll give RM the shot, man. Okay. I'll give him the shot. And what do you think about the idea? I mean, it's been teased about like Swarms versus Mist. Obviously, there's a weight discrepancy. Like, you know, what do you make of that potential fight? I want to see that fight. I, will, I'll be, I want to see that fight. And I've been, I said it to my coach. I would love to see Swarms and Mist. Um, also, I want to see Ambush and I'm just bait. Okay. Yeah, Ambush and I'm just bait. Ooh. Put my guy Ambush on there. I'm just bait. I know you're athletic. Get that fight, man. It's only right, man. Sail it in the ring, man. Ambush, I'm just bait. Let's make it happen on Misfits, man. Let's do it, man. Well, I mean, for you, obviously, this is your first time in the ring. Um, you know, what can fans expect for this Saturday? Like, what's the vibe that you're coming with? Like, obviously, for those that may not have seen your Wicked and Bad fight, what yeah. could people expect for the Saturday? Yeah, um, um, since Wicked and Bad, I've improved a lot. 
I'm just going to go in there and give it my all, man. I'm going to box clever. I'm going to box smart. Um, I'm going to move my feet well. I'm going to commit to my shots. I'm going there to, to cause damage, man. Trying to get the knockout. I want a knockout bonus. All fire of the night. So I'm just going to go in there, give it my all, everything that I've been training um, the past few months, and give it my all, man, and give people a good show, man. That's the main thing. And uh, would you consider this a one and done, or would you want to continue your misfit journey here? I definitely want to continue, man. I definitely want to continue, man. I love boxing. I find it fun. Like, this fight is also fun for me. Do you know what I'm going to say? So yeah. I, I want to carry on going. As far as I can take it, I'm going to take it. Do you know what I mean? Final message to your fans out there and also to Kells as well. You know, big up the fans. Big up everyone supporting me from music to acting to boxing, man. Big up everyone, man. I'm nothing but love. Kells, Saturday you're going down. Kells, I know you underestimate me. You think your size is a thing, but it's nothing. But yeah, man, it's going to be a good fight. Let's put on a good show. Let's have fun at the same time, man. No bad blood for real. But yeah, let's have a good fight and let's, let's make it happen, And Fireworks. There you go. Said it for the man himself. Big Tobes in the building. Tobes, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure I know I've seen you in the music scene, but I wish you all the best for Saturday, bro. Oh,